drive was weighing good, so. Well, I think it was back in May when I warned you that this was likely to be the Exodus. Uh, but uh, now the weather god, god of nature, whatever you want to call him or her, is uh, giving advanced warning. Northwestern United States and into Canada have broken temperature records and we are still not in the hottest part of the year which is at the end of July just a few more days and we're in it at the end of that month into August that is when we'll see the most extreme temperatures we are looking at a compelled exodus of the whole western United States. Possibly even into Colorado. <clears throat> the question is, who's going to listen? Because if you hadn't been paying attention, Russell M. Nelson and the prophets are staying silent again. So last year with the coronavirus, they downplayed it, called it a hoax, said that their agency was being taken away, that they can't exercise their religious freedom to have church worship, which became a super spreader. profited off of that. So this year they're profiting off of the vaccines. But I wonder if they're aware of the heat wave coming or if they're going to wait till the last minute to sell all their stock and repurchase stock in environmental crises friendly stocks as they did with coronavirus last year in March made six billion off of your tithing while you suffered. So now we know exactly what Nelson has planned to replace us. I've been doing the videos warning that the church is planning on replacing us. They've even tried to enlist Senator Lee to do bills to say hey we want states to be able to import workers from other countries as Nelson is saying well Salt Lake City Temple Square is Zion and we're going to have a mass gathering to Zion soon as the temple will be ready to go in April conference 2024 but they can't have polygamy until the United States is destroyed because it's illegal. So it was murder to get gain. <clears throat> but yeah, this is how they ensure the extermination and exodus of everyone. And so, in 2024, or soon before, what are they going to have? Oh, it's the gathering! Everybody go to Zion! And who's going to go? Oh, all the ex-Mormons, of course, and non-members. Oh, I want to be Mormon now! <laughs> nope. Only the righteous worthy will go to back to Utah. There is no Missouri, and I keep doing the videos for you. 19 July 1840, Joseph Smith said, no, it's not Missouri. <laughs> it's Southern Illinois. So yeah, this is what the church is planning. Because when the church goes back to a desolate desert, 
so that they can start their new world order church, kingdom of Deseret II, with polygamy and murder for rebels and women who divorce the leaders of the church. Yeah, and they won't be subject to the laws of the United States anymore. This is what they had planned. This is why conservatives have been in bed with gas and oil companies. The combustion engine is to cause this for the sole purpose of the chaos that it will cause. How many millions will have to be evacuated? Should I see if I can figure out how many people? So we got California, Oregon, Washington, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Idaho. Utah. Utah has three million. A little over, but I'm not going to be that specific. California population 39.5 million. 39.5 million. Oregon population, 4.218, 4 mil, Washington population, 7.6, 7.6, We're over 50 million already. Arizona population 7.279. So 7 mil. Nevada. <coughs> 3 million. New Mexico. Million. Idaho. Uh, it's almost two million. We'll round it up because we rounded down on the others. I uh, probably should put Wyoming. Wyoming. Uh, half a million. Yeah, it's about 60 million is what we're looking at. 40, 50, 60, yeah, around 60 million. You do understand this is going to be a permanent condition. We won't just be able to go back once we enter into fall, there will be no water. It'll all be dried up. And so yeah, we're going to have to make permanent residencies in the east. And they don't have room for us. 
we're looking at a national security crisis. Because we got to get food for everybody. Nobody's going to have a job. We can't just go applying for jobs, all 60 million of us. Ain't going to happen. Yeah, that's what we got coming, and we've already we're already witnessing that the MAGAs, because the Democrats are spineless, refuse to deal with them immediately upon taking office. They've allowed MAGA to go around causing distraction problems, setting fires. But the Democrats are all chasing each and every single fire rather than having dealt with the cause in the beginning. And as a result, it's out of the Democrats' control and they can't handle it anymore. And so, yeah, we, we won't be able to get any help from our government. I sent an email to President Biden saying, hey, there's a mass exodus coming. Are you prepared? <laughs> the answer is no. You know, FEMA, no. -uh. They don't have the ability to set up all the tents necessary for 60 million people exodusing. So, yeah, Southern Illinois is where we're supposed to go. <coughs> for those few of you. I don't suppose there's anybody willing to give me a ride. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be survival of the fittest during a crisis. People's true colors come out during a crisis. That's going to be the sad part of it. Is that there are going to be people left behind. The elderly, disabled, the homeless, who will not make it going to be the real tragedy. So it's coming. I warned you. Now God's warning you. It's coming. 